The Star Helix was one of the recently buffed Doll Assault Rifles and it's performing so well in true takedown mode now. This is one of my go-to assault rifles for Zane. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Borderlands 3 video. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the recently buffed Star Helix Assault Rifle. But before we get into the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell notifications if you want to see more Borderlands 3 content. The Star Helix was always a pretty good assault rifle and a fan favorite, but after the recent buff to all doll assault rifles, this thing is lining up to be a top pick and it's especially good on Zane, but we'll get into that in a moment. Now keep in mind while we go through the rest of this video, all the footage in the background is Mayhem 4 or True Takedown mode, so the buff definitely made this strong enough to fit into the hardest content in the entire game and I am loving it. This assault rifle is so much fun. But first, let's talk about where to get this. This is actually a really common drop. It's pretty easy to get from the Power Troopers on Promethea at the Atlas headquarters. Now, I want to show you guys the shortcut if you've never seen it. You basically just run over to the left after you spawn, and you can jump right up this ledge. I'm pretty sure I saw this on a Jolts Dude video, so, you know, shout out to Jolts. Now, I believe each Power Trooper, or at least two of them, have the chance to drop the Star Helix. I'm not 100% sure if all of them have the chance for it, but when I was farming for it a little bit and, you know, just getting some footage, um, I got two of them to drop it in the same kill, like, multiple times. Now, I'm not saying it's, like, super, super common, but two drops in one kill of these Power Troopers is good enough for me. They don't drop it every run, but, yeah, it's pretty common. You guys should have an easy time farming it. Another thing to keep in mind is um, this gun doesn't come in corrosive or fire. You can get it in all the other elements, so you can get it in radiation, shock, cryo, or kinetic. Um, and that should be good enough to for most enemies in the game. Now let's talk about real quick how to use this gun and why I think it's actually a top pick when it comes to single target weapons for Zane right now. Most of you know about the Star Helix's unique shooting pa pattern and finding that sweet spot. But it's not super hard to get that sweet spot. Just strafe back and forth and uh, once you get them in that sweet spot, you're going to see a ton of damage being pumped out. So that's how you're going to know when you're in that sweet spot. Now what I personally like doing with this gun is using it at point blank range, kind of like a mini dictator. And that's what's great about this gun is it has three pellets, so it triggers the see and dead class mod a lot. It's very good at triggering brain freeze. And yeah, it just reminds me of a mini dictator that you can actually move and run around with. That's the pretty much the only downside to the dictator in my opinion is the bipod and not being able to run around. So if you take a dictator and cut it in half and you're able to run around, then that's what the Star Helix is to me. And the other cool thing is you can actually use this at long range. So that's another pro it has over the dictator. Um, one other cool thing I do sometimes is if you're good enough, you can even get some slide shots off once you stick some points into some fire rate. But this thing is insanely cool now. I am so glad Gearbox is deciding to buff underperforming and underused weapons. This buff was definitely A+. I highly suggest getting your hands on this thing and trying it out at the least. And like I said, and like you guys can see, I'm just shredding through enemies in true takedown mode. It doesn't matter what difficulty you're on. But... That's my review of this weapon. Anyways guys, that's going to be it for this video and weapon review. You should definitely farm for the Star Helix and try it out. So, if you like this video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more Borderlands 3 Legendary Weapon Guides and Zane Builds. Don't forget to hit that notification bell for me and comment down below how much you love this gun. That's really going to be it for me guys. I highly suggest getting a Star Helix and trying it out. It's very powerful and very cool. but. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.